Hello, my name is Nikita Kunar, and I'm running for the position of Pure and Applied Rep for the year 2012 to 2013. Well, if you're looking for a person who's enthusiastic, dedicated, hardworking, and approachable, I truly believe that I'm capable to cater to your needs. I'm a student who always ensures that I stay abreast with current issues on campus. For example, last semester when there was the issue of the library and we were faced with having cut hours in library, I made sure that I made myself available to be able to petition against that. And as you can see, we still have our library times as per usual. The same enthusiasm that I used for last semester, I will personally be using for the Pure and Applied students. In Pure and Applied, we offer various subjects as you would know, and we have approximately 1,500 students within our faculty. Along with this, great number of students and a whole set of varieties comes a whole set of issues. Issues like internet and study area availability. Those issues are very vast for us as students in Pure and Applied. We need change, and I know you're tired of hearing change, but I'm not going to tell you that I'm about to change things all of a sudden. I'm a person who's realistic, and I'm planning on having a realistic approach to the issues we face on a day-to-day -day basis. Hi, Kiafil, and a warm greetings to my Pure and Apply family. I would like to take this opportunity to introduce myself, Shaka Winnie, as a Pure and Apply representative candidate in the upcoming guild elections. At this time, the most important question you should be asking yourself is why vote Shaq Onion? And the answer is simple. During my tenure as a biological and chemical student, I've experienced firsthand problems and issues we as peer and play students face. Is this, along with the experience gained from being a previous member of a peer and play committee, which makes me, in my opinion, the best candidate to be your representative for the upcoming year 2012 to 2013. If elected, I will seek immediate attention to some of the issues and problems we face. Issues such as the availability of faculty rooms, such as the BSR, the NCSR, and the CSR, along with the implementation of an internship program. So, March 13th, vote Shaka on you for the Pure and Play Rep. Remember, a vote for me is a vote for you. Thank you. Large feet can be accomplished through logical thinking and one's passion for the goal. However, we found colleagues excellent becomes an easier task to achieve. With the ideals of brotherhood, honesty, and perseverance, we can achieve greatness together. These are just a few words from my manifesto. I am Christina Hall, your candidate for the post of Pure and Play Science Rep 2012. I would like to implement a spirit of team building into the Pure and Applied faculty as well as address any concerns which may be affecting the students. My job as the Pure and Applied rep if elected would be to perform liaison duties between you and the faculty as well as to foster brotherhood within the Pure and Applied faculty. Please vote Christina Hall for your Pure and Applied Rep 2012. In order to find yourself, you must lose yourself in the service of others. Hello colleagues, and a special greeting to my family, the students of the Faculty of Law. I am Malik J. Keller, your candidate for the post of Law Faculty Representative. I am a young man whose benchmark for success is guided by a humble yet sincere and enthusiastic character. The image and functionality of the Law Society and faculty is of tremendous personal importance to me, a student who cares about you, the quality of education we receive, and the worthwhile experiences we receive together. I am committed to giving my all, 100% of myself, in serving you, the students of the Faculty of Law. And so, come March 13th, vote in confidence. Vote for one committed to serving you. Vote for one willing to serve you. Vote for one willing to go the extra mile for you. Vote Malik J. Kellyer for Law Representative. Dear Law Family, it is my honest belief that leadership is service. I am indeed no stranger to service. At a very young age, I served as Commonwealth Youth Ambassador of the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis, where I was afforded the opportunity to represent the region and my federation at high level youth meetings in continents as far as Africa and Asia. In my very first year here at Keyville, I served as first year law representative and an executive member on the Law Society Executive. 
where I would have addressed the needs and concerns of my fellow students. In my second year, Kevin, I serve as president of the Sengis Navy Student Association, vice president of the UISTAT, ambassador corps, and constitutional chair of the Combined Territory Students Association. Indeed, service is my passion, and it is my desire to serve you, my love family. Some of my proposals in the interest of time will be just brief. I plan to lobby for your benefits. I plan to create a more comprehensive program, not only for full law students, but cross-faculty students. I will lobby for the expansion of library hours. It is against that backdrop that I, as I am contesting the position of law representative slash constitutional chair. We often hear about an improved healthcare system in Barbados, a system which would have providers who are competent, empathetic, who understand the importance of professionalism, honesty, and confidentiality. This doesn't begin when we become providers, practitioners in our field. This begins now as students at the University of the West Indies Cape Hill campus. This improvement can only come about when we have better faculty to student relations, more study areas, and better study area accessibility, better student advisement services, and external standardization examination preparation, stronger alumni relations to facilitate networking opportunities, more career builders and lab hours for clinical skills training, shuttle services for our students, our clinical students, traveling to and from the Queen Elizabeth Hospital, better technology in our classrooms and labs for effective teaching. I'm Adana Branson. I am your voice. So come out and vote March 13th. Remember, medicine, many minds, singular results. Greetings, my fellow students. My name is Ross Johnson, and I'm contesting for the post of Social Sciences Representative for the upcoming good elections. As your Social Sciences Representative, I plan to have a cordial relationship with all of the students in the Social Sciences, in the social sciences faculty and have their goals and plans implemented in the faculty. Together as one body, a one voice moving in unity, we together can build on the excellence that the faculty stands for and eclipse all others. Vote Ross Johnston for your social sciences representative, a man of vision, a man for the people. Hello, good night. My name is Alex Ricardo Donks and I'm running for the post of Humanities and Education. I'd like to open with a quote from Albert Einstein. Insanity is defined as doing something over and over and expecting different results. And I believe that we are all guilty of insanity by that definition as humanity and education students. I believe our problem is insularity. When they say this, I mean both physical and mental insularity. We are all guilty of separating ourselves, whether it be physical, which is across from EBCACI, or we are on the main campus, whether it's on, on the hill or by the library, or in the library or by the hill. We are all guilty of the physical insularity. As it pertains to the mental insularity, we also do this when we are defining ourselves as either history or philosophy students. We need to come together as one and unify ourselves and therefore we can become one as a humanities and education faculty. As your humanities and education representative, I will ensure that we are all unified and we have all several events which we can do this and we all know each other and we will all be one.